Okay, so electrocardiograph refers to the technique that is used to record the electrical impulses that immediately follow the contractions and relaxations of the heart muscle. Okay, although useful in measuring the health of the heart, the EKG does not measure the heart strength. So electronic sophistication does not enable the EKG to only record cardiac voltage. Cardiac and muscular voltage are generally consistent although erratic tracings may occur due to artifacts. Okay, there are some things that we need to know here. So when we deal on EKG, EKG is telling you something about what? About what is happening, what is the electrical event happening in one heartbeat, okay? So when we say one heartbeat, what does it mean? Uh, I, I will pull Okay, I want to uh, this one here. Okay, this is what we call one heartbeat. Okay. Okay. Well, when, what do we mean by one heartbeat? What do you mean by one heartbeat? One time wave, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just, just. What do you mean by just one heartbeat? When we say how one heartbeat, what does it mean? Lambda. Yes, it's lambda. That means when the heart contracts once and then relaxes once, that is called one heartbeat. So one contraction and one relaxation is one heartbeat. That is the mechanical aspect. That is the mechanical consideration. When we take mechanically, one contraction means when the heart sends blood, what? One time, one relaxation means when the heart, what? Receives blood. Okay? So those two phases, they are called what? One heartbeat. Okay? That means one heartbeat is the combination of one relaxation and one contraction. So what we do will be one heart beat is equal to one relaxation plus one contraction. So, uh, you know, there is what we call a cardiac cycle. So, cardiac cycle. Cardiac cycle means it's a combination of what? One relaxation and one contraction. Yes? One cardiac cycle. So how do you call the contraction phase? It has a name? Systole. And how do you call the relaxation phase? Diastole. So it means one cardiac cycle is one systole plus one diastole. So a cardiac cycle is one heartbeat? Yes. One cardiac cycle is one heartbeat. One heartbeat means one contraction, one relaxation. Okay, one contraction is one systole, one relaxation is one diastole. So when we have one systole, one diastole, that's one heart, that is lab Systole is relaxation. Systole is contraction. Contraction. Diastole is relaxation. Okay, that is the basic concept that we need to know. And one other word you said. Huh? What's the name of it all? The name of what? Sister one plus diastole. One cardiac cycle is called what? Um, you just said it. Lepidup? Yes. Lepidup is... Lepidup. Okay, lepidup. If you If you listen to that, lepidup. Lepidup. It means when the valves they close, they have one lap. Then when the other two valves close, lap. So two of them, which, which one? So we have, how many valves do we have? Three, four. Four. Mitral or bicuspid? Mitral or bicuspid? 
and the next one is what? Trical speed. Then the other one is aortic and pulmonic. These are the four valves we have. Four valves. So, only three of them closes? No, no. So, mitral and trichal speed, they close at one time, at the same time. And then, follows by what? Aortic and pulmonic. Okay? So, mitral and, mitral and trichal speed, lap. Then, when the others two, dub. Lap. Dub. Lap. Dub. Lap. Dub. So the whole of your life, you will have always left depth. Okay? So here, the concept in EKG is that the electrical, electrical impulses. Those of you who need this, let me know at the end, okay? The concept of EKG is what? Electrical impulses. So what does it mean? A heart is what? A heart is what? It's what kind of organ? It's an automatic organ. Yes? Automatic. What does that mean? That's a good question. Automatic organ means it can generate its own what? Electrical impulse. And the heart can sustain with that, without even having any impulse from the brain. Okay? So the brain doesn't tell the heart to beat? There is a control mechanism in the brain, which is called medulla oblongata. In medulla oblongata, the heart is under, but still it has its own what? Generator. Let's say you have the Virginia power around, yes? It gives the whole power for the, the whole, okay? But you might have your own generator at home, yes? Mm -hmm. Let's say if the Virginia goes up, then you have your power. So when your brain stops, your, your heart can beat? Your heart can beat, yes. As long as it gets oxygen, it continues beating. That's why the, problem, the patient, some patients, they, they stayed for a long time. He, I saw last time someone who slept for 19 years and he wake up last time. Mm. <gasps> 19? Yeah. <laughs> how, how, do you, how does that happen? So we don't know that, but but so, some people, you know, they have like brain injury, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So they stay for, like they've been vegetative, they don't know. But as long as the heart gets oxygen, it continues beating. Mm -hmm. you, see you see, what it needs is oxygen. That's why they continue giving what? Oxygen with, okay? So heart is an, an automatic organ. What what does what makes it an automatic organ? Because there are what we call some uh, structures in the heart which are called electrical conductive systems of the heart. Okay, how many are they? S A naught, A V naught, bundle of his, right and left for bundle branch and Purkinje fiber. These are five. What so, huh? What huh? Electronic? Elect yeah, electrical conductive system of the heart. Uh, I'm not sure if I gave you this one. Uh, last time we did, did we do the leveling? Did I tell you to level this? Okay, so these are what? SA naught? Of his wife? And bundle, bundle of his, 
bundle of not his actually his bundle of his okay his is a name it's not his okay <laughs> huh? every node is the second one then right and left bundle branch then for kinji fibers five knowing this is very important all right it's always that is how if you, AKG is depending on, okay, on this. What are these again? These are the, these are the electrical conductive, because the heart has what? It's the property of, it has the property of generating an impulse, electrical impulse, and it transmits that impulse to the whole heart. Okay, how does it do? There is SA node. SA node is the main what? It's called pacemaker. Pacemaker means that it's the one that originates. It's like the mom at home. The mom is the pacing of the heart, yes? yes. The, I mean, the home. <laughs> yeah? If the mom is not there, what will happen? All the kids, they'll be in chaos. That's what's happening. If SANO is not there, then all the heart will be messed up. Because it's the one that's controlling and make the heart function. So SNO is like the generator. It's called pacemaker of the heart. So from, from the SNO, an electrical impulse will be what? Will be generated, okay? Then this electrical impulse should move to the both atria, like I said, right and left atria. It goes to these two atria. How? Look, there is the Bachmann's bundle. Can you see this Bachmann's bundle? It takes to the left atrium here. And then it goes to the AV node. AV node. So the, the, can you see these fibers here? These are the internodal fibers. Okay, one, two, three. Internodal. Can you see internodal? What do you mean by internodal? Internodal means between the nodes, between the nodes. It means it passes the, SA, the impulse from the SA node to the AV node, internodal. So these are like three, can you see one, two, three of them, they are internodal. This one is what we call Bachmann's bundle, Bachmann's. Do you want a copy of this one? Mm -hmm. Do you want this? Yeah, yeah I can, I can. Let me print it out for you. How many? You can count? <laughs> no count. Nine, eight. One more. Nine. Yeah. Nine? Ten. Ten. More ten. Ten? Yeah. Ten? Okay, I don't want extra. To... Okay. So now, from SA node, the impulse goes where? So write something at SA node. SA node is the pacemaker, okay? Write pacemaker. Okay. In parentheses, write pacemaker. SA node is the pacemaker. Pace. Then it takes it to what? AV node. Okay? Now, what does AV node do? What is the function of AV node? If you answer this, I have another postcard, but that's the last postcard. What is the function of AV node? It's a pass. Yeah. Pass. You can read the impulses from the SA node. Yeah, it takes impulse from SA node. Yes. Pass it to the. Then pass it to the. So you mean it's a transit? It's a transit. Yeah. yeah, that one we know it. That one, <laughs> all of us know it. Uh, what we don't know? Huh? Is something we don't know? 
what is and the other most important function of every node? It's called a delay. Oh. A delay. Because it takes the impulse from SA node and it delays it. Hold it. Because before it passes to the next, it delays it. It's you know? important to delay it. Huh? It needs to be delayed. Yes, it needs to be delayed. Yeah. Yes. Oh, why? That's a physiological delay. It's physi because the atria and the ventricle, they can't contract at the same time. Okay. Yes? They have to contract what? Synchronously one after the other. After atria contract, finish contract, then, then it relaxes and ventricles will continue. Otherwise, if they do the same, they will boom, boom. It's just okay. So, in order to have that, after the atria receive the impulse, then the impulse is delayed for short period. And after it, the atria empties all the blood to the ventricles and relaxes. Then the ventricle. So, with that delay, okay, there will be a synchronous follow of the atria and the ventricles. So that is the other function, AV no delay. It's called AV no delay. It's called a physiological delay. So now, okay, you see, SA node is what? Let's make her. AV node is what? Delay. Delay. Usually it delays for about 0 0.1 second. It delays it for about 0 0.1 second. These are the two most important that you need to know. Then next will be bundle of his or the AV bundle. It means it's like a short fiber segment. Can you see? It takes from AV node to the bundle branch. So then right and left, can you see? Mm -hmm. Right and left bundle branch because there are usually right and left bundle branch block. Block. There is a block, that means there's a condition of the heart. It can be blocked here. So usually there is what we call RBB B and LBBB. RBBB -B means what? Right bundle branch and block. You see, when you add another B, it's block. If you don't have this one B, is a branch. Mm -hmm. the, the name of this is right bundle branch. But when there is a block, when there is a block, what do you do? You write another, you add another what? B. Then this one is what? Yeah. It's okay. Left, Left bundle branch, block. Okay. Now, if I write I, B, I, R, B, 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 what does it mean? I, R, B, B, B. Irregular? Yeah, it's, it's a good attempt. I mean, it's not correct, but trying by itself is, is enough. That's good. I, R, B, B, B. I means incomplete. Um. Incomplete, right, bundle branch block. Where the bundle branch is not complete, not totally blocked, but there is partially blocked, the right bundle branch, that's called, it's, it's also one of the conditions that usually you can, you can get it on, on the EKG tracing. It's called incomplete, right, bundle branch block. Incomplete right bundle branch block. Okay. Then after this, we need Purkinje fibers. 
So Purkinje fibers are the final fibers where the, it's the ventricles get the impulse. And the ventricles finally what? Contract. So, whenever anything related with atria is related with what? With SA node. Okay? Because the atria gets the impulse from where? From the SA node. So, anything related with the ventricles is related with what? For Kinji fibers, these are what? Ventricles. Okay? Okay, it means, let's say for example, if there is a problem in the atria, mm -hmm. it means we have to incriminate the SA node. Maybe there is a problem with the SA node. Let's say if there is a problem with the ventricles, maybe the Purkinje's are not good. Okay? So, usually if there is a AB node problem, what will be usually the problem? If there is problem in the AB node, what will happen? It's you, not going to delay. Uh, you see, yeah, it's good. Trying is good. <laughs> <laughs> because just the only thing that you need to re reverse it. Oh, uh, it's going to delay too it much. Delayed, yeah. <laughs> you see, just kick it. Uh, and then it's, it's blocking it. So that means you will have a block. You got it? That means... If the delay is more than 0.1 second, then let's say if you, you went to the airport station, you are, you are flying, and if the fly like is delayed for 15 minutes, say that's okay, no problem, yes? Oh, no problem. Okay. If it delays one, two hours, what will happen? You will shout, uh, okay? <laughs> yeah, that means, and let's say if it's delayed for like half a day or more than, and they tell you to stay there, that you are totally blocked there. Yeah. yeah? So that means it will have an effect. So if the amino delay is more than like this, it's like more, then it's blocking. So it's called AV block. So, so that's how we relate the condition with, with these structures, you see? Knowing those structures, that's why, that's why we need them. So we call it as AV block. So you see, that's why it says cardiac and muscular voltage are generally what? Consistent. It means cardiac and muscles, they have a generally, they generate cons consistently and electrically, always at the same time, at the same, like pace, they always generate what? SNO, for example, generates always the impulse. Muscles always they generate what? That's why our muscles are contracting, yes? That's why we are moving. Why? Because of the electrical impulse. If no electrical impulse, then there is nothing. Yes? So, but sometimes this impulse may be like irregular. That means it's not like consistently doing that, but like it's sending like an irregular impulse. Okay? Okay? Or there can be an interference from outside. Like let's say you do a KG and you have interference from an electrical. So that is called artifact. You will get an artifact on your tracing. Okay, artifact. What do you mean by an artifact? Can you define it in your own words? Don't worry about the medical, just in your own words, then we'll Huh? How do you define it? Just, just like the name indicates, artifact. The first thing is artificial. Mm -hmm. Artificial means it's not original, yes? Mm -hmm. 
It's like a makeup, yes? Mm -hmm. So now, artifact means, it's not, that means you don't get the impulse from the original, from the SCA node, or from the heart, but it's coming from some other locations, other than the heart. It can be from muscles, if you move, that's why we tell the patient what? Stay, do not move, yeah? Okay? Or if someone has a cell phone or electrical impulse is like changing, which is called AC interference, yeah? Then you can have what? An artifact. Okay? Or if you have a wire problem there, if the wire is cut, fried, fried or okay, something wrong with the wire, if the electrodes are not like what? Attaching well, if the patient is wetting, powder, oil here, it will want to like hold, yeah? That, all that we will, will give you an artifact. That's why we prepare patients like that. We will come to that later. Okay, but it will create for you what? Some kind of what we call artifact. So according to this, we classify them as wandering baseline. If electrodes are loose and electrodes are loose, and then it can be interrupted if electrodes are fried electrodes, fried wires. And somatic, if there is muscle movement, like in, for example, seizures, uh, shivering, Parkinson's, yes, like seizures, shivering, Parkinson's, and next to somatic is what? as interference. As interference. That is because of usually cell phone and like IV pump. Some any electrical equipment that is being on the side of EKG, it can lead to AC interference. Okay. Okay. So electrocardiography causes no discomfort to the patient. So that means that's one thing that you need to tell the patients. It's not what? It's, it's, it's not, not shivering. Huh? No, it's not shocking. Can all of you say it? It's not shocking? It's not shocking. That you have to tell patients it's not what's shocking. Do you want the last one? Yeah. Okay, just, just right off. I, if you want, I can print out for you at the end, if you like. Okay. Done? So why do we use why do we use EKG? Use of EKG. Why, why, why do we? There are some things that we we use EKG. Okay, that is to diagnose what some heart conditions. Yes, which heart conditions are there? For example, arrhythmias. Arrhythmias. Arrhythmias means irregular heartbeat. If, if, if the patient has irregular heartbeat. And cor coronary thrombosis. 
uh, angina or infarction. CHD, which is called coronary heart disease, and electrolyte problems. And all these 